Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and this video is about how to play Symmetra effectively. So, Symmetra can be a tricky hero to play. Some people are naturally good at playing her and some people suck. Like me. But... I've done my best for the gameplay, now I'm gonna do my best to explain how to use her effectively. First things first, Symmetra is a support hero, so pay as much attention as you can to putting shields on all your teammates. Now Symmetra doesn't have a lot of health and she has a really short range with her primary weapon, so you want to be at short distances from your enemies to be able to hit them. And your turrets also do not have a very long range. I, it might be longer than your primary weapon, but I'm not sure. These turrets are also very handy because they do a lot of damage. Well, a lot. They do a pretty good amount of damage. And it's like they stun people. You can't move uh, on your fastest anymore when you are hit by a turret. Of Symmetra. And that's why you should stay near your turrets. They are there to protect you and your teleporter, but I'll come to that later. It's also a really good idea to stay near health packs with Symmetra. Now, all these tasks are pretty hard to keep track of when in game. But all the multitasking ends when you get your special ability, which is a teleporter. You should place your teleporter in a room or another small place which is on your side of the map and on the flanks. So you make it harder for the enemy to find and destroy your teleporter. And a good counter to a teleporter is a reaper or a tracer, so be wary. When you have placed your teleporter, the multitasking ends. Put all your turrets in the room of the teleporter, so you and your teleporter are protected. When an enemy comes in, they will be slowed down by your turrets and your primary weapon damages them a lot. Plus the damage of the turrets, and that should almost kill them instantly. What you're about to see in this room is just genius. This is the first time I, th I thought, let's play passively with Symmetra. And this is where I came with that idea of where you can, like, do all the multitasking at once. So turrets that protect you and your teleporter, and when friendlies come through the teleporter, you can shield them right away. So that's why I wait near the teleporter and try to protect it. And there I was too late. But look at this! That's just awesome! Got here a triple kill, and I killed that Reinhardt later. That's too bad. That's the play of the game, by the way. Spoiler. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty happy about that. So the only thing you really have to do when playing Symmetra is stand by your teleporter, shield friendly so it will come through, and protect you, yourself, and the teleporter. And remember, the teleporter makes sure that you can do all your tasks at Symmetra, as Symmetra, without risking a burnout. Now, when do you want to play Symmetra? When playing Symmetra, it's handy to have the following heroes in your team. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what heroes you have in your team. It, couldn't, it could be handy to have a support hero, but since you're always staying close to health packs, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And when you don't like staying too much near the health packs, then a support hero might be handy. But the support hero is probably not going to support you, but the other teammates near the objective. Because you're only helping your teammates to get to the objective quicker so that you can win. And when playing Symmetra, you have to be careful of long range heroes and heroes that do a lot of damage at short range. And you might also just be careful for heroes that have a lot of health and do a lot of damage at close range. 
Uh, just like Reinhardt. Just a little example. But, yeah, Reinhardt. So that was everything that I've got to say. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something of it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.